Hello friends, I am back with a new video of cell division. It includes concepts of cell division, numericals, very much important with respect to NEET exam. Please do watch the video till the end covering all 14 different types of numericals of cell division. Before that, press the subscribe button and the bell for such updates. Hi friends. I am back with a new video and this video is related to cell cycle and cell division concept with respect to NEET exam and it's the first part of the video. So friends, let's start. Now the term we need to understand is cell division and cell cycle. Cell division, it is defined as a process in which one cell divides into two or four daughter cell. It means one cell divides into two cells. The one which divides is parent cell and the one formed are daughter cells. When we talk about cell cycle, in cell cycle one cell divides into two but the daughter cells they need some time to prepare themselves for next cell division and this time we call it as cell cycle. So what is cell cycle? It is defined as sequential events or changes taking place in the life of dividing cell. When we talk about cell cycle, it consists of two phase, interphase and the M phase. M phase is mitotic phase. Interphase consists of G1, S and G2 phase, while M phase consists of prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. Now in cell cycle, there are most important thing that we need to understand is that the total time, let's say 100%, 95% is by interphase and 5% is by M phase. What makes the cell to divide that we need to understand? When karyoplasmic ratio of the cell gets disturbed, then the cell divides. So, what controls cell division? So, there is a special chemical called mitogens in plants as well as in animals. In plants, the mitogen is cytokinin and in animal it is lymphokines. EGF that is epidermal growth factor, PDGF that is platelet derived growth factor are special mitogens. What controls the phases of cell cycle like G1, G2 and S? There are special proteins called cyclins or they are also called as cyclin dependent kinases. They are called as CDKs. What is the role of CDK? It breaks down nuclear membrane. The major checkpoints are G1, G2 and S. The time taken by cells to divide. Most important, average time is 24 hours. For yeast is 90 minutes. For E. coli it's 30 minutes. What is doubling time? Time taken by the cell to double its number. We have one more term, generation time. The time period between Two successive generation is called generation time. Doubling time and generation time remains same. When we talk about cell cycle, first we need to draw one circle and a small one. Sorry for the shape because it's not diagram, it's all about concept. So we need to label G1, S and G2 and the M phase. So the entire thing has two outcomes in G1 phase. G1, S and G2, they are together called as interphase. Earlier the scientists they used to believe that it is resting phase but my dear friends the cell is not resting it is preparing itself for the next cell division therefore interphase is also called preparatory phase. Let's understand what is G1 it stands for gap 1, growth 1 or post mitotic phase. Here the cells are metabolically active Cell synthesizes all material required for DNA replication, but DNA does not replicate. Cell proliferation takes place. Once the G1 phase is over, the CDKs check the requirements and then the cell enter into S phase, synthesis or synthetic phase. Here DNA replication takes place where the size of the nucleus increases, number of DNA doubles. For example, 
If there are 2C, it becomes 4C. Most important, there is synthesis of histone protein if it is a eukaryotic cell. G2 stands for gap 2, growth 2 or pre-mitotic phase. All the cell organelles in G2 doubles in number. There is synthesis of spindle fibers, tubulin proteins, centrioles double in number if it is animal cell. The cell grows in size and once the CDK checks it, then only the cells are allowed to enter in M phase, that is mitotic phase, where actually the cell divides, divided into P mat, prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. Now, once the daughter cell is divided, it can come out and follow cell differentiation or they can become permanent cell. If not, the cell can enter in G0 phase which is a quiescent stage. If the cell is there from G0, it has entered into G1, then it will start with the cell cycle. But if from G0 it is lost, it does not enter in G1 phase and we don't know where it has gone, then that cell becomes cancerous cell. The cell which loses the control on G1 phase. 95% of the total time of cell division is by cell cycle interface. That certain terms karyokinesis, karyo means nucleus, kinesis means division. So what it is? Division of nucleus. Cytokinesis, cyto means cell, kinesis means division. So what it is? Division of cell or cytoplasm. When we talk about plant cell, it has cell wall, no centriole involved. It has polar bodies. When we talk about animal cell, we need to understand that it has no cell wall. It has centrioles it, which produces asterase. There are two types of division, astral cell division and anastral cell division. Astral cell division is found in animal cell because asterase are involved. The centrioles they give star shaped that is asterase. Well, as in anastral cell division, the plant cell there is no asterase. So, what they have? It is polar body. So, what is mitotic apparatus? We draw centrioles. Surrounding the centriole will be the asterase. And both the centrioles are connected to each other by spindle fiber. This entire setup together is called as mitotic apparatus. What are the types of cell division? So first we have amitosis, second we have mitosis and meiosis. Amitosis, A means without, mitosis means equal. So there is no equal division of the cells. Mitosis means equal, equal division of the cell takes place in mitosis. In meiosis it's a reduction, so reductional division of the cell. Amitosis, it occurs in paramecium, endosperm and fetal cell. Mitosis occurs in somatic cell, body cell or vegetative cell. Meiosis occurs in germ cell, reproductive cell, sperm or etc. Friends, let's understand cell division. There are two types of cell division, mitosis and meiosis, where mitosis is equational division and meiosis is reductional division. In mitosis, the chromosome number in daughter cell remains same. In meiosis, the chromosome numbers becomes half. Let's take there are 16 chromosome in daughter cell. So the parent also will have 16 as it remains same. So from one cell you get two cell in mitosis. In meiosis, if the parent cell has 16, the daughter cell will have eight chromosomes. In meiosis, there is meiosis one and meiosis two, where the actual reduction takes place in meiosis one and meiosis 2 will follow same as mitosis. Mitosis takes place in somatic cell, body cell, vegetative cell, root, stem, leaf, flower, bird, zygote. While in meiosis takes place in germ cell, reproductive cell, testis, ovary, ovum, egg, gamete, sperms, etc. What we need to understand in mitosis there is no recombination. It means that the daughter cells will have same genotype. But in meiosis, recombination takes place due to important event called crossing over. In mitosis, we need to understand that the number of cells with every division, it becomes double. Whereas in meiosis, one cell gives rise to four cells. 
Friends, let's start with question number one. Suppose an organism has five picograms of DNA. So we write nucleus of egg N is having five picograms of DNA. Now, what comes in next? We need to understand how much DNA would be in diploid cell. So diploid cell 2N is in G1 phase. So N is 5 picogram. So 2N in G1 phase will be 10 picogram. We need to understand the cell cycle. It has G1 S, G2 N, M phase. In G1 phase, it is 2N. But instead of G1, it would have asked G2. So in S phase, DNA replication takes place. So in G2 phase, there would have been 4N. So G1 is 10 picogram. So G2 would have been 20. But since it has asked G1 phase, the answer is 10. How many mitotic division occurs in the root tip to form 256 cells? So root tip is 2N, so it undergoes mitosis. Root tip 256 are formed. So mitosis rules is number of cells will always become double. So what we need to understand? One cell divides to form 2, 2 divides to form 4 cell, then 8 cell, then we have 16, 16 divides to form 32, 32 divides to form 64, and 64 cell divides to form 128 cells, 128 cells divides to form 256 cells. So this is first mitosis, second mitosis, third, fourth, fifth, sixth mitosis, seventh, and eighth. So what we need to understand, eight mitosis is required. But it's a long procedure. Shortcut is what we need to understand, 2 raised to n is equal to 256. So what n will be? So by using simple calculation, we can calculate n is equal to 8. So 2 raised to 0, if you look here, it is 2, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 4, 2 raised to 5, 2 raised to 6, 2 raised to 7, 2 raised to... Let's see the question number 3. It says starting with a bacterium that divides once in half hour. So it's a bacteria which divides once in every half hour. After 24 hours, bacteria divides how much? So half hour is equal to one division so for in one hour there will be two divisions so therefore 24 hours will correspond to 48 divisions so we need to understand 2 raised to 48 will become the answer because bacteria number is doubled let's see question number four in a diploid cell what will be the amount of dna at the end of g2 phase so diploid cell it's 2n amount of DNA will be at G2 phase will be how much so let's see the cell cycle so we have the phases G1 S and G2 and the M phase at G1 phase it is 2N but in S phase DNA replication takes place so the number of DNA will be definitely doubled so in G2 phase the DNA number will be doubled so answer is 4N let's see question 5 how many times a cell divides to form 128 cells so one cell divides mitosis to form 128 cell so we know one cell divides into 2, then 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128 cells are formed. So every time the number is getting doubled. So it is first mitosis, second mitosis, third, fourth, fifth and seventh. So seven mitosis is required to get 128 cells. So 2 raised to 7 is equal. Let's see question number 6. It says deployed number of chromosomes. So 2n is equal to 8. So chromatid is somewhat like this. Chromosome will be having two chromatids. So we should know one chromosome has two chromatids. What shall be the number of chromatid in each daughter cell after meiosis 1? So a before meiosis 1, the number of chromatids that we need to understand, 2n is equal to 8. So there will be 16 chromatids present. After meiosis 1, 2n will become n because of reduction division. So n will be equal to 4. And we will get 8 chromatids present. So the answer is 8 chromatids. The number of chromosome becomes half. Therefore, the number of chromatids also becomes half. Let's see question number 7. The number of spindle apparatus formed during meiosis. First, we need to understand spindle apparatus formed during meiosis. So, first of all, spindle apparatus is having centriole, the aster rays, the spindle fibers, all these three things, when they are combined together, it becomes spindle apparatus. So, aster rays, 
plus centriole plus spindle fiber becomes what one spindle apparatus what we need to understand here is in meiosis 1 we get two daughter cells then it undergoes meiosis 2 forming four cells so for meiosis 1 only one spindle apparatus will be required so first spindle apparatus for meiosis 1 now since there are two cells so two spindle apparatus required each cell requires one spindle apparatus meiosis 3 spindle apparatus is required because there are three cells involved so the answer for this is 3 let's see question number 8 number of metaphasic chromosomes so metaphase 1 to n will be equal to 60 in anaphase 1 reduction will take place so n will become 30 so anaphase 1 is actual reduction phase which takes place in metaphase 1 there will be no reduction so while reading the question we can understand in metaphase 1 there is no reduction so we say answer 60 but we need to understand they are talking about chromosome group the most important word in the question that is mentioned is chromosome group in zygotein stage we know that the chromosomes they come together form a bivalent or synapses homologous pair that forms one group in metaphase 1 the chromosomes do not separate from each other they remain attached at a tip so what we need to understand here even though the number of chromosome is 60 in metaphase 1 but they are present in a group so there are total 30 groups so answer is not 60 it is 30 the word group plays very important role here. question number 9 how many cells and meiosis are required for 200 cells so one cell one meiosis gives rise to four cell and for four cell if you want 200 cell so there should be 200 by 4 meiosis and 200 by 4 cells so when we do 200 by 4 it is 50 that is 50 meiosis and 50 cells so the answer is 50 50 let's see question number 10 there is a bacterium which divides in every 35 minutes let's say initially there is a test tube having a culture cell of 10 raised to 5 so after certain minutes let's take that is 175 minutes how many cells will be present in the culture tube so what we need to understand here most important thing in 35 minutes the number of cells are actually getting doubled so 175 minutes divided by 35 so you get 5 times it means the bacterial cell divided five times the most important concept so initially it was 10 raised to 5 cells so when it divided for the first time it formed 2 into 10 raised to 5 for second time it will be 2 into 2 into 10 raised to 5 third time will be 2 into 2 into 2 so 8 into 2 then we have 16 into 2 so when it has divided fifth time it will be 2 to the power 5 because 5 time divisions are taken place into 10 raised to 5 so 2 to the power 5 is nothing but 32 so the answer is 32 into 10 raised to 5 let's see question number 11 in a culture of e coli so there is an e coli culture having 1.5 into 10 raised to 6 cells per ml it and it has formed 12 into 10 raised to 6 cells per ml in 36 minute so every time remember rule the number of the cells they are becoming double so initially it was 1.5 into 10 raised to 6 so it has become double 3 into 10 raised to 6 then again double 6 into 10 raised to 6 and then double 12 into 10 raised to 6 so what we need to understand here is 1.5 into 10 raised to 6 this all takes place in 36 minute first division then we have second division then we have third division so the culture has divided three times so 36 divided by 3 you will get 12 so 12 minute was the time required for each division so the answer for the question is 12 minutes very easy to understand the generation time is 12 minutes the generation time always remains constant let's see question number 12 if 
by successive division so bacteria divides every minute we need to understand there is a test tube and the test tube fills up in one hour that is somewhere around 60 minute so how much time will be required to fill the lower half of the test tube now the logic that we need to understand that in every division the number becomes double so if you want the test tube to be completely filled so there should be half filled first so what we need to understand half to full one minute will be required because every time the number is getting double so 60 minute requires to fill the test tube so before one minute it will be half filled that is 59 minutes so 59 minute is required for the test tube to get completely filled because in the 60th minute it will be doubled let's see question number 13 there is a deployed cell where 2n is equal to 4 n is equal to 2 the genotype that will be formed in mitosis so we need to understand in mitosis all the cells formed are identical to each other because there is no variation or no crossing over so the genotype that will be present will be all let's see the last type of question number of bivalent bivalent we need to understand it is formed in prophase 1 in zygote in stage where two chromosomes form homologous pair that is called as bivalent so bivalent is two chromosome in prophase 1 there are 10 bivalents it simply means that there are 20 chromosomes present how many chromosomes will be present in anaphase 2 first we need to understand in anaphase 1 the chromosome number will become half because of reduction division so the chromosome number is 10 in anaphase 2 the same number of chromosome is going to continue so n is formed in anaphase 1 so in anaphase 2 the chromosome number becomes 10 so 10 chromosome becomes the answer hope you understood the concept friends do give a like to the video so that i can make more such videos encourage me and my channel for such videos do subscribe if you are new to the channel thank you very much